All right, let's do some trolling, or more specifically, let's talk about my Troll Worship Modern Deck. Uh, Troll Worship is, it's a lot of fun to play, I have to admit that, but it's objectively my worst modern deck because it's slow. Uh, it hides behind one key card, so if it doesn't get the card on the board, it usually it, uh, loses. So what the deck is trying to do is play creatures with Hexproof and Worship. So, damage would reduce your life total less than one life, instead it reduces to one if you control a creature. It's a enchantment, it costs four, three and a white. Um, I've got three in the main, then I've got a Sarah Benevolent to supplement it, to get the emblem. So, with Sarah, two, white, white. And I have to plus two her at least once in order to next turn, if nothing else happens to her, get the emblem. So it's a bit slow and it gets to uh, most of my other decks. So absent evolution, um, let's see, general domain, soul sisters, all have ways of dealing with worship in the main. Uh, soul sisters of course is only one conclave tribunal but she has plenty of um, tools in the sideboard for game two. Um, against the, uh, the black deck so it says damage. Well, damage that would reduce your life. The black deck does loss of life. So if the black deck gets Troll Worship down to one life, all the black deck has to do is do one loss of life effect, and it has many, and you lose the game. Uh, Merfolk, that's why I won a game against uh, this deck before in uh, game two, is a sideboarded in Vapor Snag. And I vapor snagged a uh, noble hierarch, so I got them down to one. And my buddy Yishi is saying, uh, "What are you going to do now? You've got a noble hierarch. Yep, you're at one life. Yep, vapor snag. She goes back to your hand, and you lose that one life. Fuck. So here's the deck. Uh, I've got two guys to Saint Traft in the main. I've always loved the idea of this card. I love the art. It's it's a fun card to play. But he's a two-two on the ground." So you've got to do something to make him bigger, get him through. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> nobody that plays modern say anything. I know she costs five. I know she's too slow for modern. But I was trying to figure out how to make this deck work, how to get damage through. And so I thought if I stall on the ground, if I stall out to worship, I can afford Sagarda. No, the deck is just too damn slow. But it's still fun to play. If you play Kitchen Table Magic, if you're playing some mates that uh, aren't playing uh, super top tier meta games, try this. It's it's fun. Uh, believe me, it, it's fun. So Zagarda, flying hexproof spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cost you cause you to sacrifice permanents. So the only thing that really stops is Liliana. Uh, I would have to check on Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Absent Evolution has a Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, and I believe it's a sacrifice, so Sigarda would stop that. Anyway, she's a 5 5 flyer, hexproof. Earl the Mist Docker. So, my friend Ren, um, I didn't like the original art on Earl. Uh, I, it just didn't really do anything for me. Big, goofy stick guy walking through the, the mist. So, I saw this art online, and Ren tried to copy it, and he did a pretty damn good job, if you ask me. So, Earl the Mistdocker, two green, red, white for 5-5 five, five hexproof, and he gets plus two, plus two for each or attached to him. Of course, he got five. I have to get him down. I have to tag with him. It's happened before, but it's, it's just too slow. Although, sometimes the slow is fine because against some of the decks, I can hide behind worship. Fucking car alarm. What the hell? Anyway. Screw that guy. So I started putting in burn effects in order to close out the game. Because a lot of times I'll get creatures down, I'll be attacking, and then there'll be a point where my opponent is stabilized, I can't get damage through, so I need to burn them directly. So it really is fury. Red, white, X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or players. That beat creature dealt damage its way and they can't attack. No. Players dealt damage, we can't cast non-creature spells, players. 
So this is another way of making sure merfolk cannot counter the, uh, the worship. So you hit them with just one point of Aurelia's Fury and they can't cast counter spells. Deck has four Noble Hierarch. These are the only cards in the deck that do not have Hexproof. This is kind of the weakness of the deck <laughs> when it comes to Vapor Snag. It has four Seven Carried. So Hexproof Utopia Trees, basically, that can't attack. It has two Thrun, the last troll. I would wanted to put a third Thrun, thrun in, but four. Three at four was a bit too much. But he regenerates. They don't do regeneration really anymore. It has four Troll Ascetic. Hexproof. Regenerates. So let's recap. Let's recap right quick. I have... And they're legendary, so I'll only count... Um, so this would essentially be one creature. Because I can't... Yes, there are two I can draw into, but I can only have one on the board. So it's kind of two cards, but effectively only one can be in play. So, let's just count the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I only have ten viable attackers in the deck. And that's kind of a problem because since the creatures kind of suck, I have to have ways of putting enchantments on them. I have to have enough enchantments to make sure I can get one on them in order for them to get damage through. So I have four Rancor. Might be overkill, but there's been times where I didn't draw a damn Rancor. I didn't, so I put in a couple more enchantments and started tuning the deck. Chant of Creature gets plus two plus here and trample. When Rancor is, goes to the graveyard from play, so if it's countered, you don't get a damn thing. It stays in the graveyard. But if it leaves play, it goes to the graveyard, you can get it back. Bane Fire. This is the other way I have of closing out the game. And uh, it's, it's pretty damn key in the deck, I'll tell you that. So I can lock things up on the ground. I can uh, gum up the works. But then I can't get damage through. So, Bane Fire. Set your ass on fire. All right, anyway. Sarah the Benevolent. I already talked about her. It's got one Angelic Destiny. So, Rancor only gives them Trample on the ground and plus two plus zero. So, the uh, Troll Ascetics would be 5-2 Regenerating Tramplers. Um, against the Black deck, what would stop it? I would be taking Trample damage if I even stopped it with a big Dross Messenger. Uh, but I can gain life with that deck, so I can kind of outrun it. Burn. It's going to get the this down to one, and then choke, because it can't stop a worship. It can't stop it from being cast. It can't stop it once it's in play. It can't destroy it until game two. Because of this deck, Burn has three disenchants in the sideboard and three anger of the gods. Anger of the gods says the creature's they would be exiled if they uh, go to the graveyard. I don't think it stops regeneration, but if Troll Worship has, I don't know, two or three creatures out, you probably won't have enough mana to save more than one. Anyway, like I said, it's slow. So Angelic Destiny. Four, Enchant Creature. Gets plus four, plus four, flying, first strike, and becomes an angel. And when the enchanted creature dies, this comes back to my hand. Kind of the same as Rancor, just different wording. Griff's Boon. Enchant creature gets plus one plus zero in flying, so say Thrun, he would be a 5 4 flyer that regenerates without trample. So if there's anything in the sky, you can just block. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm kind of frustrated with uh, that this deck, I just can't make it fast enough. It's just missing something to be really good. Again, again, I, I will 
I say, it, it is fun to play, but uh, it can be frustrating sometimes, but I've enjoyed it. Maul of the Skyclaves, when it comes to play, attached to creature control, gets plus two, plus two flying and first strike. This is, <clears throat> I get this is too slow for modern, but this is a fun uh, equipment. I like it. So if I have, say, Geist of St. Draft, play him turn two because turn one I played a Noble Hierarch. Turn three, play Maul of the Skyclaves. And the reason there's only one in here is because it doesn't come back to my hand. Uh, the equip cost is kind of high for modern. But if I get it down and I, and I think of it like an enchantment, because it attaches immediately. So if I've got St. Traft, Maul of Skyclave, so I've got a 4-4 four, four Flying First Striker that whenever he attacks, he brings a 4-4 four, four Angel into combat with him. And then I don't have to worry about him getting blocked and killed on the ground. The deck has four Path to Exiles for creature control and the three Worship. So that's that's the main deck. Let me show you the mana base. Uh, so I put a Bonders Enclave in there because I've got a lot of big creatures. Just, just a way of drawing more cards because the deck has no other way of drawing cards except one per turn and that sucks and slow. So I thought ah, I should have a Bonders Enclave in here. So this this is not something you would take to a tournament. No, 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 no. This is something you'd play against your friend Stuart on a Wednesday night after you've had a couple beers and he busts out his kitchen table uh, squirrel deck. Probably do pretty good against that. So Bonders Enclave, two breeding pool, one Gevany Township, put a plus one plus encounter of all creatures. So if things are slow, at least I can start making the creatures bigger. Keswick Wolf Run, again, I have to get damage through somehow. This helps get damage through. In fact, this won a game against uh, the Genie. So the Genie was playing Hardened Scales, and I won, I think I won one out of the three. And I won it based on Keswick Wolf Run. That's how I remember it, didn't we? Misty Rainforest, it can find breeding pools, Sacred Foundry, because I need red to get Aurelia's um, Fury or Banefire started. Two string wildwoods. Um, too damn slow. <laughs> but they can become creatures. Stomping ground, another way of getting red. And uh, so Sacred Foundry. Um, if I've got a fetch land that pulls white or red, I can get that. If I've got a sacred uh, a fetch island that only pulls green, well, I can get the stomping ground. I've got two temple gardens, four windswept heath, one island, three forest, and a plains. Because if somebody ghost quarters me or path to exiles me, at least I won't be cut out of my colors. And this is something I'm thinking about with General Domain. All of his lands are non-basic. If you ghost quarter him, he's just like, oh, that sucks. If you pat to, pat to exile him, he's like, oh, this sucks. I, you don't get anything out of it. And uh, most of my white decks in modern have pat to exile. Um, about half the decks have ghost quarter. And I'm thinking of taking a couple of the fetch lands out of uh, general domain and just putting in two basic lands, just two. But I don't know how that will throw off the uh, the game plan because if I draw a basic land and a fetch land well then I'm not hitting domain until turn three at the earliest and I want to hit domain as quickly as possible so I don't want too many basic lands in there but I want to start protecting myself against uh, ghost quarter and pet to exile and it's funny that I say protecting myself because these are all my decks <laughs> these are all my decks I'm playing so I'm trying to make General Domain better defended against the other decks that I own and I play with uh, my friends with uh, because they don't want to invest in modern, fair enough. Um, so I did. Anyway, let's look at the sideboard. Sideboard is a second Sigarda. Um, and my sideboard choices, to remind you, in uh, my modern ecosystem, um, they're kind of just things I shoved in that kind of fit. 
and things that are good against the other decks that they would be facing. So the sideboard is not in any way related to what the current modern metagame is in any way, shape, or form. To Supreme Verdict, destroy our creatures. Uh, unlike Wrath of God, you can regenerate, so that's why Supreme Verdict is in here. Because if I have six mana, then I can Supreme Verdict, and I can regenerate one of my trolls, if I have a troll in play, and keep going. <clears throat> Four Russian mana leak. Just in case I need to uh, stop something. Um, <laughs> mainly stop the things that would kill the worship. Three Collector Oof. Uh, I was playing against uh, Hardened Scales with Evgeny, and he beat me down to the ground. So I got some of these Collector Oofs and put them in the sideboard. So this is an outside of my ecosystem sideboard decision. This is uh, anti Evgeny, anti Genie metagame uh, sideboard decision. So I, I did get one of these in play against him once, and it didn't quite have the effect I thought it would, but it stopped walking Ballista, which helped me. I think I still lost that game, but I was doing better without that walking Ballista chewing into my ass. So I've got a second Sarah Benevolent in case I need a, a fifth worship effect, and a fourth worship in case I need a sixth worship effect because there's only three worships in the main. And three oblivion rings. Ring and ding dong. So that's that's the deck. That's troll worship. Um, I mean, if, if you want some kind of just goofy fun deck that throws people off, this will throw people off because it blanks all the removal. Maybe you don't need four rankers. If you can uh, have more card draw, that's the problem. That's the reason I have the weird mix I do is I don't have the, I should probably take two of these out and put card draw in there. Instead of just the one butters out. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. I'm glad I'm uh, glad I thought about that. But the deck is cheap, except for the fetch lands. It, it's all cheap, barring the foils. Okay, so disregard the foil treatment um, nothing in here is worth a damn in the modern metagame except the fetch lands and some of the shock lands. So the deck is cheap to build, it's fun to play, and it throws people off because they can't target your, your cards, they can't target your creatures, and they're just like, oh, okay, I've, I've got this removal, but I can't use it, I'm just going to get beat. Yes, you're going to get beat. All right, that's enough. I think you get the point.